Howdy partner. Welcome to another down the rabbit hole video. Wanted to talk about my IT holster again. I did a video about this years ago. I got this man bag belt pouch whatever you want. I refer to it as the IT holster but many people I know called it basically a fanny pack which it is and I just thought to myself you know as great as this thing is it has problems. There are reasons that I I just don't use it to the degree that I thought that I would. It has benefits. Like, the thing is, on a hot summer day, I sure as heck don't want to be carrying all of this stuff to work. So I got this. It was actually on a Princess Cruise, and I had to cover up the Princess logo with a Jedi logo. Did a bit of video about it all ago. But the problem is, I find I'm just carrying it in my hands now instead of actually strapped around my side. Because as you saw, it kind of sits out like quite a ways. And if I'm on a bus or something or going through a door, it's, it's really bulky. Because I've packed it with the stuff that I need. I mean, I've got in here my keys, my pass for work, my futuristic wallet from Trevax. All of these things. And in fact, the real culprit, the real... Uh, guilty party, as it were, is I'm back to carrying around my Retroid Pocket 2 because it's got my podcasts on it and I use it on my commute for gaming. So all of these things are really kind of handy, but I'm finding that it's getting a little bit too bulky to wear on my side. It's perfectly fine if I zip all this up and I just carry it by hand, but... I just thought to myself, yeah, that's fine. And then I got my lunch in my other hand. But look, I'm carrying luggage like I'm going on a trip somewhere. But recently, I found, I saw a video online of a anti-theft sling bag that I thought, ooh, that looks like it's going to be really handy for multiple situations. Not only travel, but also maybe it can carry this crazy pile of stuff in a more... I don't know, streamlined sense. So I got one and uh, I'll show you the unboxing. Okay, so let's just open it up and see what we've ended up getting. All right. And bag in a bag. Turns out I don't need that little cutter after all. Okay, so bag in a bag in a bag. It is black, excellent. Now this is the medium. Looks, oh, that looks about the right size, I think. I think this might be good. Let's check it out. Okay. Yes. Very nice. Does it say Osasi there? What the heck does that say? Quick. Ooh. Quick. Oh, it's a quick clamp because I've heard uh, this is actually a quick release, so you can basically just slide it out of there. I'll do it in a minute. But... Is this Osasi or Osos or how the heck you pronounce that? Hmm, I don't actually see that label anywhere, so maybe it's a knockoff. Still, uh, yes, magnetic um, snap, and that would be for the phone. Looks like pretty decent quality. Yeah, the zips are nice. My whole hand can go in there. Same with this one, I believe. Yep. And the really, really big stuff can go in the back somehow. There was like, a, oh yeah, there we go. Sorry for all the scratching noises. Yeah, there's a big one there. Oh, look at that. It's even got little, that's cool. I don't know if you can make that out. Yeah, there's a, a little divider. Like, there's um, places in there. Maybe that's the other side of the pocket no that's that's actually so there's like a little a little space there you can make it up and a big space around it in addition to these pockets here well i got a lot of storage now the big question is going to be so my objective my aim here first time doing this is that the phone will go in here fits nicely my Trevax wallet from the future will go in here. Tons of room, tons of room. And then the big one, the big, the big question mark for me, that was gotta fit in there. So maybe back here. Yeah, I'm hoping. So 
in, ugh. I've got an old 3DS case here, which I use to carry around my Retroid Pocket 2 Plus to and from work, for example. So, can I fit that in there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. Now, it's a little bulky. Let's, uh, I'm going to try it on. Uh, basically, it does hold what I need it to hold very, very well. And uh, as I say, this is a quick release. Uh, I've heard some people in reviews say this is very handy because if you're in a situation where you can't easily unsling this thing over your head, you can just unhook it from there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess about with that. Adjustable. Very cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. So I'm going to try it out and uh, I will report back. So now I've been carrying stuff around in the sling bag and I do like it, but it's not perfect for my needs. I think it's really good for anybody who's not carrying around a big bulky bunch of stuff like me. I mean, it looks okay, right? Like it's, it's not too uh, jutting out or anything. It doesn't look too bulky. This is it fully loaded compared to the, the IT holster. I think this works best and the other nice thing is that if I throw on a shirt over it or a hoodie or a jacket or anything like that, it does nicely conceal away. Like this is really, really beneficial. I like how difficult it is to get into these things. Like nobody's going to be picking my pocket and taking away my tray back that easily. If I'm in some marketplace or on some very busy city streets, if I'm traveling around, if I'm a tourist, I can carry this around and it's low profile ish now i'm not totally thrilled i like many bits about it but again fully loaded let's take off the shirt fully loaded it still does jut out a bit there are certain benefits though i can sling it back that way and then it just looks like a regular sling and maybe a backpack but the one problem with that is I'm not wild with the fact that the phone is kind of now pointing down and except for this magnetic little snap could fall out. It, it's a little bit, it still juts out quite a bit. Now that is very much due to the Retroid. If I remove that from the equation, if I was not carrying the Retroid with me, if I was, you know, just regular wandering around, now it looks a lot more, I don't know, like a vest tactical wear type of uh, garment you know this is this is something that like I'm on the secret service and I'm on a mission you know it, it I think it it looks a lot better it's a lot sleeker a lot nicer um, these uh, zippers are really really good because they do hide into the material you can actually kind of once you've zipped up they do discreetly hide away and therefore they make a nice smooth thing so if somebody's going to be trying to pick your pocket they're going to have a real challenge trying to get to any of that i like that i also like the fact that it has so many different compartments this big one on top is really great for carrying that retroid like it will hold huge amounts of stuff as i share i don't get the light in there that's enormous in there that's good plenty of room for keys pass for work etc this little tab is super handy. You can just put some sunglasses on there or some other little item that's on a clip and you can walk around and you can, oh, my, it's really getting quite uh, bright and sunny. I'll put these on. That type of thing. This is super nice and this doesn't go anywhere either. Like this is stitched in. Uh, it's not Osossi or Osos. When I was looking at that, what I thought it said was quick connect, uh, snap. It's actually... Kidalong, Quidalong, Q-I-D-E-L-O-N-G, Kidalong. So it's not Osasi, but there's a lot of like cheap knockoffs. This is 15 bucks, so I'm just like, sure, I'm not going to argue for that little small price tag. Uh, it gets a little, um, some of the threading is not great. I will put a link below to this one that I got if you're curious, but there's a million of these out here. Osos, Osasi, that's kind of the main one everybody knows. This quick connect thing, though, whatever, even though it's not actually saying that, this is very handy. There will be situations, like let's say you're wearing a hat and you're trying to take this thing off and it's like, it's it's very bulky. It's, it's not convenient to be taking this thing off with the strap, like proper backpack style or anything like that. Whereas this little quick connect, now it does take 
a bit of practice, but once you've got the hang of taking this hook off like that, that's pretty good. And then you can just set it down, put it through the scanner at the airport, whatever needs to be done, then strap it around back over yourself and bring it around again. And then once more, you can just slide that back in and away you go. That's very handy, very useful for hat situations. And speaking of bulky headwear, remember these uh, Mesh Hesh 2 wireless headphones that I got years ago? These have been going great for me. They are very bulky, but that's fine. That's not a big deal when it comes to this thing. We can just use the uh, quick snap to uh, take it off. But what I do find now, when I did my review of these headphones, I found there's something weak or there's something weird in the way that they process the Bluetooth signal. If my podcast source, which in my case is the Retroid Pocket 2, it used to be my iPod, even with that, I found that if my iPod was in my pocket or in the IT holster and I turned my head a certain distance, it lost signal. Or the, the person talking in a podcast or in a bit of music, it was stuttering a bit. The nice thing with this now is, because these are up here, and this is now actually closer to me, in the little pocket here, the distance that the Bluetooth signal has to uh, travel across is much smaller, much lower, and I find I can turn my head a lot more and I'm not losing that signal. So for me personally, this is really, really nice that the headphone distance is good and now I, get, I don't get the problem of any lost signal. I do like the fact that this will carry all my stuff and it does feel a little more compact than carrying it on my side, sticking out about six inches. It's a little bulky, but you know, take the Retroid out. It's much more like a tactical vest, like it looked like in the footage of the videos that I saw. I like that. And on a hot day, yes, you sometimes get a little warm patch here because you know, you're wandering around and you got this thing pressed up against you. Kind of like carrying a, a small child or like a cat or something. You know, it's like this little, little being that's sort of hugging next to your side. And you can get a little wet, warm and almost sweaty in there, but you can rotate it, like I mentioned before, to air that out. It's not too bad. It does bulk out a bit, as I say, but I'm, I'm managing with it. So again, I like it. I don't know if it's a wonderful replacement for the IT holster, but it's certainly gonna work in my case. So I'll put a link below to this particular one that I got, but there's a million of these out there. And I do recommend it, especially for travel, for anything where you're gonna be going around places where pickpockets might be, or also just if you want to have a much easier way to grab your important items, like your wallet, like your passport, what have you, instead of reaching through pockets and all this kind of stuff, this is like right here, quickly accessible, and a so much of a better, more convenient way. And again, those little, the fact that these little z uh, zipper endings just flushly disappear into the material, great stuff. I like it a lot. It will replace my IT holster. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Somebody also suggested if you want to have this thing hug your chest a little bit better, like that, then pack items, you know, more like a, a, bit, a, re, a range of panels. Unfortunately, this is just that bit too big. This was the regular size. I'm happy with getting the regular size because I don't think this is too much of a eye-catching, you know, people making note of, hey, what's he wearing there? This is perfect for my needs. Would I have gotten a bigger one? Maybe. But then if this thing was here, I think it would still be quite bulky. I don't think I'm really going to uh, win anything in the encumbrance department, given that this works really well, just like this. It just sticks out a bit. I uh, had a funny case, a guy at work, uh, I was just trying this thing out, and I said, so uh, what do you think? Is this like, this is a tactical like vest thing? Are you, are you catching me looking like I'm a, a secret agent? Or do I look like I'm carrying a, a man's purse? And he was like, no, 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 it looks fine. It just looks like a backpack that kind of slipped around you. So he's right, but I'll, I'll take that. That works for me. Anyway, I thought I'd give that a quick review. So until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.